Ahoy, lads and lassies! There be a legend centuries old of a lost treasure more valuable than gold. Though the pirates searched both land and sea, they could not find where it might be until Captain Billy sailed the ocean blue and brought that treasure home to you. So grab your treasure map, climb aboard the Caribbean Queen, and join us as Captain Billy Ocean and his crew unveil the greatest wonders God has ever shown. <laughs> I be looking for Sparky Puddles. She said she had something mighty important to tell me. Sparky Puddles reporting for duty, sir. Oh, hello. Mr. Ripley, I want you to arrest me. Hey, arrest you? Yeah, for what? I've done terrible bad things. Hey, well, well, when? Well, two years ago, I wanted to steal my neighbor's treasure. Oh. I got into a fight three years ago, and when I were a little girl, I lied to my mummy. Hey, well, all those things was a long time ago. Did you ask God for forgiveness for doing wrong in his eyes? Aye, that I did. Hey, well, then you're forgiven. You see, Jesus died for our sins, and then God just washed them away. <laughs> well, then, I want to put in for a transfer to another ship. Another ship? Well, for heaven's sakes, why? The mission of the Caribbean Queen is to deliver God's word to kids all over the world. Aye, that be true. Well, sir, I don't deserve to be on board. I've led a naughty life, and I'm not worthy for God to use me. <laughs> oh, is that what you're worried about? I, God uses people who ain't the least bit worthy all the time. He does? Oh, yes. Uh, God uses imperfect people all the time. That way, when they do something amazing, God gets all the glory. Uh, take Jacob, for example. Who's Jacob? Uh, well, Jacob, he was the son of, of uh, Isaac. Oh, he was a tricky one, he was. But then God used him for amazing things. Uh, let's get up the treasure map, and I'll show you. Right, let's see here. Ah, oh, here it be. The story of Jacob and Esau. Now, who's Esau? Well, you see, Esau was Jacob's twin brother, and they was tussling each other from the time they was in their mother's belly. Were they born wrestling? Are you just about? The name Jacob means heel catcher. Uh, Esau was the firstborn, but Jacob was holding on to his heel. In the Jewish tradition, the firstborn son gets the father's blessing. Aye, so Esau would inherit his dad's land, his animals, and his house. And his blessing. Yes, it, it was a very important kind of prayer, where the dad would ask God to watch over his son's entire future. Jacob wanted that blessing powerful bad. But Jacob wasn't the firstborn. Aye, but Jacob, he was tricky, he was. He tried every trick he could think of to get that blessing. Like this one time, Esau came in from hunting, and he were mighty hungry, and old Jacob was cooking up some stew. Did he give some to Esau? Oi, Esau begged for the food, but Jacob replied, First you must sell me your birthright. Esau didn't do it, did he? He did. Oh, he sold his birthright for a bowl of stew. That Jacob is an awful trickster. Aye, that ain't the worst part. There was another time when Jacob's dad was old and blind. He tried to trick a blind man? Yes, he did. You know what? I'll show you. Let's get a couple of sailors here and I'll help you show you here. Uh, right here and uh, let's see, uh, right here. Yes, come on up. Okay, now, uh, let's see, uh, you're going to play Isaac. Okay. So you're gonna wear a beard. All right. Get to get her all set up for playing Isaac here. Where's your glasses? There we go. Here's your vest. She's going to play a perfect Isaac, I can see it. There you are. Oh, your beard's a little lopsided, but that's all right. Perfect. All right. right here. There you are, Isaac. All right, now, you'll come over here, son. Now, you're going to play Jacob. Now, Jacob was his mommy Rebecca's favorite boy. It's not very nice to pick favorites. Uh, it's not, but Isaac had a favorite, too. Esau. Uh, now, he told Esau to go hunt for some food, cook it, and to bring it to him, and then he would give him his blessing. But Rebecca heard him, so while he was hunting, she told Jacob to dress up like Esau and to trick his dad. But Esau was a hairy hunter. So Rebecca dressed Jacob in goat's fur. Thank you. There you go. Put on your hairy arms there. And Rebecca cooked some yummy meat, and she mm -hmm. sent Jacob in to Isaac. 
And when Isaac asked who he was, he said, I am Esau, your firstborn. Aye, then Isaac made his way closer to touch him and make sure he was Esau. Then Isaac said, the voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. He did not recognize him, for his hands were so hairy like those of his brother Esau. So he blessed him, and, that, and Isaac asked, Are you really my son Esau? I am, said Jacob. Did you see that? Jacob lied again. Aye, then he fed his dad and took the blessing. But I thought that blessing was supposed to be for Esau. Aye, it was. But Jacob tricked his dad. I told you he was naughty, didn't I? Now let's have a round of applause for our volunteers here. Here you go. Now watch your step. Go ahead. Be careful going down. So, was Esau upset when he found out that Jacob took his blessing? Oh, he was so upset that he threatened to kill him and his brother had to run away. Well, what happened to Jacob? Hey, well, we'll find out next. But you won't be here since you're transferring to another ship. Well, I suppose I could stay around a little longer. Oh, but I thought you weren't worthy enough for God to use you. Well... I suppose if God could use a family like Isaac and Rebecca and Esau and Jacob, then he could use a couple of ex-pirates with a few naughty deeds in their past. <laughs> now you're getting it. God chooses us to be part of his plan, not because we're perfect, but because he wants us to. I can't wait to see how God uses Jacob and Esau. <laughs> Aye, next time, my friend, next time. But until then, kids, may the God of wonders fill your sails and guide your path.